let's create custom bottles to use in Adobe Substance 3D Stager. And where we start is Adobe Illustrator. So let's launch Illustrator. There we go, got a nice blank page there. And first thing that I usually do is pull in a guide that I will use for reference. Because what we will actually draw is the profile of the bottle. So let's do that first, just very quickly. Okay, that looks pretty good. Let's give this some curves there, around that. Let's give it a nice big curve at the bottom and give that a nice soft curve there and just a very, very subtle curve there. And let's look at this guy. Let's make this a little smaller. Move this over, let's get a guide in here so we can just be, get that guy set right there. And then I think I wanna move this down a little bit, just about there. Move this guy back as well. Okay. And so we have our line, basic line of the bottle. And let's uh, create a cap for this. So just very quickly, basically doing the exact same thing, knowing that this is our center uh, for our, our, um, our bottle and our cap. And so we'll pull this over like that, like that. And let's see, let's just give that 45 there and then come across right there, I think. Let's soften up this one, but leave the other one, other one like that. Okay, and so that will be our cap. And let's just add a little something at the bottom here, um, as if it was sitting in a little um, a tray or bowl, or sort of like a something that would keep it off the uh, ground if it were, you know, wet or something like that. Not quite a sleeve, but there we go. Okay, and then we'll mimic that. And that's about, let's undo that and bring this closer here. Bring it out there and then we bring it back. About like that, okay, good. And then we mimic that curve like that. That's all I was looking for. Okay, so we select our, we don't need our guides right now. Hide those. Let's select our um, bottle cap and this base that we created and go up to window, 3D material, 3D and materials. And there's a number of options here. We're gonna click on uh, revolve. Okay, and I had everything selected. So it created all three of those. Very nice, and one of the things that you still have is the ability to um, uh, to revise this, to make updates, and it'll, it'll happen live. As you can see, when I hover over, I get the profile that we created initially. If I turn on the preview, you can see that the line is still there. And you can take that line and you can manipulate that. Let's do that real quick. You can manipulate that. Um, very easily, and what we'll do is, let's make this a little thinner, and you can see it changing, the live update. Let's make the neck a little longer, and you can see that. And you can see how that changed. All right, so let's take those, select all three, scroll down in this 3D and materials um, panel, select export 3D object, and then you will get the asset export window open up here. And so we have the base and the cap and the bottle. Let's make sure all three of those are selected. You don't need the USDA, so you can X that out. Make sure OBJ is here. If something else is here, uh, you need to select OBJ. If OBJ is grayed out, that means that your um, some of the things that you brought in here in the assets uh, are not 3D objects. They are flat or something like that. And so you need to bring in 3D objects so that you can get the OBJ option. Okay, so I clicked. Let me click these back on. You can see a little blue highlight, OBJ, and then export. And this will, um, you 
uh, you select where you want to place it and it will create uh, a folder and the folder just like that OBJ will be created and you can open that up and you will see on the inside of there you have the objects and you have the materials and so there's the uh, the bowl base thing there is the cap and there is the bottle so what we're going to do is switch back over to stager and we're going to create a new uh, file there and we're going to drag our objects in there very simple we're going to take the object and just drag it onto the uh, in the window there and we'll just drag the rest of those I'll move this over here let's just drag that and you can see they uh, come in sort of halfway below the um, the ground plane not a big deal nothing's broken uh, it's all there you can just select those and drag those up one thing that we want to do is uh, let's align these all together but let's bring our base down and our cap up about like that. Select all three of those, go over to the Align tool, and let's hit Center. And sometimes I hit that twice because sometimes it just doesn't seem to work right. Uh, but it's working now. Very good. Uh, and then we'll just drag this one down so that, let's zoom in. Okay, so there's our cat. All right, so when we drag this guy down, when it hits the top of the, um, the base or other object, you see it, it, there's a little highlight uh, square and a circle thing, thing there. Uh, when you move it to the center, you'll also get a little highlight uh, square. And if you move it to the bottom, you'll get that. Uh, we want ours to be just slightly above the, uh, the, the inside of the bowl. Let's get our cap and we're gonna drag that guy down and put it right on there like so. And Move it just, just down like that so there's a little relief. And I probably should have put a little curve on that, but that's okay. Okay, so there's our bottle. Not the greatest looking bottle, but it's okay for what we're doing here. And um, we'll select all of this, and I want to put this in the center of the uh, workspace right there. Uh, and the reason I put it there is when I bring in other objects, it'll be right there. Uh, but you don't have to do that. So let's move this, um, let's move this more into the center here. And I'm going to um, create a camera and I'm going to change the dimension of the camera by clicking, let's have that and click right there. <clears throat> and you see that the frame is highlighted and I can type in over here or I can just drag these and um, uh, I wanna just drag them but, yeah, there we go. Oops, when I let go, it doesn't drag the way I want it to drag. So I'm going to abandon that, go back to my camera, because it's doing something a little funky. I think I accidentally deleted my camera. I hit undo, which is okay. All right, so we got that back, and I'm going to click on this. And it wasn't dragging the way I wanted. Maybe it's a little too sensitive or something. Um, but we can type in over here. So let's type in 1080 there. And um, we'll just leave this square for now, and that's fine. Something like that. Let us um, bring in a ground plane. Let's make that larger, something like that. And you know, I feel like this is floating in the air. Let me check that out by just, oh yeah, that's not down. And we need to get this down. So, and all we need to do is select these guys and drag it down to there. And I'm not sure what I hit to bring that back up, but there we go. All right, and let's just not have one of those little corners showing. All right, so that's pretty good. Let's uh, add some textures to this. So in a little bit, and just basic textures. We'll make this glass. Um, make that glass. Well, let's do a different type of glass. Type in there, and let's go glass with this this one here, which is glass drops, a little more dramatic. Uh, let's make this base here. Um, let's just make it. Oops. Let's just make it um, metal, and we'll make the cap metal as well. Metal there. Okay, so we got those. Let's give this something. Um, uh, let's give it this matte 
there. Let's change our back to, uh, let's make that even darker. Let's see what that looks like, the background, even darker like that. Okay, give this a little bit of a tilt. And let's hit render and see what we've got here. Okay, not bad. Let's set this to fit so we can see. All right, so we can see this is the bottle that we created. Didn't take that long uh, to do. Probably took me longer to explain it than it actually takes to make it. And of course, you can experiment with doing different shapes, different caps, different bases, and all kinds of things in Illustrator um, to get different models in Adobe Substance 3D Stager. Uh, so thanks for watching the video and look for more to come soon.